Dear Ruth, thank you very, very much for being with us today. It is a true honor for Tonalité de Femme to welcome you. Ruth, you have been made honorary black woman. <laughs> How did it happen? I had a very good uh, friend who was a gynecologist, uh, an African-American man, and, and uh, he has a great sense of humor. You know, and when he stood up in a public meeting and said to me, when I had been talking about what I hoped to do in Washington, he stood up and he said, Ruth, I'm making you an honorary black woman. And everybody laughed. It was, uh, and when I tell black people that I'm an honorary black woman, the, invariably they laugh at it because who would want to be a black woman <laughs> in, in the United States, you know, but, but I am very, pleased to be an honorary black woman. Ruth, you are the founder of the Family Health and Birth Center in Washington, whose mission is to improve the general health of families, and especially mothers and babies. Your career also has been professionally recognized many times, as you have already received four awards. And in 2001, the American Academy of Nursing named you a living legend. Ruth, please tell us, what is your richest experience? My richest experience, I think, is having been able to reach the people that we're trying to serve in uh, the District of Columbia because the worst outcomes in the United States for infant outcomes are to be found in our nation's capital. And that had always been on my professional conscience. So when I got the so-called Genius Award, I said to my husband, I want to go there and see if what we have learned in New York City in, in a fairly low mixed uh, area will work in Washington to improve the health of uh, mothers and babies in Washington, and it has done that. It has, we have been able to reduce preterm birth and reduce low birth weight and, and to uh, reduce also cesarean section rates. And it's very easy to do, actually. We give the mothers their own records. We teach them to take their own blood pressure, to weigh themselves. They write it on their records, and we see their their self-esteem and their confidence about their ability to mother and to take care of their children and provide a good family life, we see that increase all the time. And the women tell us that, that first of all, they say this place, the Developing Family Center, this big old supermarket, is like an oasis for us in our community. The Developing Family Center includes health care um, uh, for women and uh, children, we have uh, prenatal care, maternity care, you know, birth either outside the hospital in the birth center or in the hospital, but always with the same midwives. We don't send women off to strangers, but many of the women who are of low income need to be in the hospital because of their other health problems and the fact that they may have had social problems, like some may have been substance abusers. So you need to have the baby born in a place where there is very sophisticated help for the baby if it's, if it's not healthy. We also have, in the, in the same building, we have a social supports case management organization, which um, does home visiting and, and both these organizations, the health organization and the case management, put a great emphasis on breastfeeding, and we have been very successful at increasing the rates of breastfeeding as well. But then the third thing we have is early childhood education, and we have space for babies from six weeks of age to three years of age, and they are not in just a babysitting situation. They are in an education for small children, and it's absolutely wonderful, and I have to tell you that I got that idea from the French. The French call their system the Protection Maternelle et Infantile, and that's what we need to do in the United States as well. And Ruth, your passion to be a midwife came with your own pregnancy and birth. You are working since many years now with a wide network of health professionals. What are the main qualities a midwife should have to give the right support? I think that the main quality that a midwife needs is patience and love. 
She needs to be able to, and she is able to, identify with, uh, with the women because she's a woman herself, although there are male midwives in the United States, and I believe there are some being prepared here in, the, in uh, Great Britain as well. But <clears throat> the qualities of kindness, patience, they're not solely feminine qualities. Men can have them too, and we all know men who are really wonderful fathers who care for their children and, and uh, love them very freely. Some men are afraid to express love of that kind, but the, the, what the midwife needs to be able to do is to listen to the women she's caring for and to try to help her to solve the problems that she has especially those related to health. And what would be your principal actions if you were the Minister of Health for a developing country? That's an interesting question, um, Sonia, because <clears throat> we have uh, several groups from developing countries, like one particularly in Ghana, that wants to replicate, they want to do the things that we are doing in the District of Columbia, they want to do in Ghana. And whenever people come, they always say, this is what we need to do. We need to set health care in its social context. It's not solely health care, but health care is a very important part of what families need to have. And if women are healthy, they will teach healthy ways to their children to their whole family, because men are sometimes feel that, uh, that uh, they're strong and they'll always be strong, but women are more sensitive to <clears throat> the role that health plays in the health of the whole family. Ruth, you met your husband on New Year's Eve in 1952 during a blind date. How was a blind date during this time? Could you share this with us? It, it, was, it was an interesting blind date because at the time I was a student nurse and we had to live in dormitories and you could not bring men into the dormitories. And uh, so um, my husband, now my husband, was very late because there was a snowstorm that night. And uh, so I was a little bit uh, impatient with him when I first met him. But we got over that and now we have been married for 56 years. Thank you so much, Ruth. Thank you. See you soon in Tonalité de Femmes. Thank you.